Hello my great and wonderful people. You're welcoming you back to Laji Pog Watch TV. Coming on college channel for the very first time. Speaking here is Laji Pog. Going straight to the point, the update I have for you today is regarding Peter Osinashi, the husband of late singer Osinashi. They finally sentenced him to death by hanging in court today. So I'd like you to stay connected to the end of this video to see how everything goes. Welcome you back to Lachibok Wash TV. I got a bad news for you today. The whole of religious gossip. Or you should believe the fight for Mohammed. What is happening in the Christian world? Turn down to make sense with Lachibok. Late Osinashi Wanshuku husband Peter Wanshuku sentenced to death by hanging as charged by the Attorney General of the Federation. The federal government has filed 23 court charges against Peter Onwanshuku, husband of late popular gospel artist Osinashi. This is the exact report making the round even as at this morning in many verified Twitter pages of popular bloggers. During the weekend, the social media space was awash with the news of a purported court judgment which sentenced Peter Wanshuku, husband of the late gospel singer Osinashi Wanshuku, to death by hanging. The report, which has since gone viral, has been shared by many blogs, claiming it was the Federal High Court in Abuja that passed the judgment. Just in case you miss it, Evangelist Peter Onwanshuku is the husband and manager of the late singer Osinashi Onwanshuku of the popular Ekweme song. He was accused of battering his son bed wife to death. He beat her to death. Reports and close source claim that Peter Onwanshuku treated his late wife like a slave and beat her even in the presence of her children. This was further confirmed by one of the keys who told the Ministers of Women Affairs, Dame Pauline Tannen, that the father told him it is good to beat women. Osina Shiwanshuku passed away on Friday, April 8, 2022, at the age of 42, at the National Hospital Abuja. Not that initial report claimed the, the, the died of the death of throat cancer. They said Osina she died of throat cancer. However, this was countered by neighbors and close friends. You know, in the first place, that was the report that came out that Osina she died of throat cancer. They said it she had a throat cancer because she she she's a she was a musician, she was a singer, a musical artist. So many people believe that news that he died of throat cancer, but neighbors, people that live close to him in the same neighborhood, they said that is a false news. Now, Sina, she did not die of throat cancer. They said he died, she died due to domestic violence. The husband was picked up following the report that he was behind the death of the singer. Last month, April, the police announced that the autopsy report was ready. In a statement issued and made available to newsmen on Tuesday, the Federal Capital Police Public Relations Officer, DSP Josephine Ade, said the result is currently with the Director of Public Prosecution for vetting. It will be recalled that the latest report about the late singer has it that the Federal Government of Nigeria has slammed 23 court charges against Peter Onwashoku. He was charged under Section 104 and 379 of the Administration of Criminal Justice Act 2015 by the Attorney General of the Federation. The defendant was charged with culpable homicide contrary to Section 221 of the Panel Code, which is punishable with death. The case with charge number CR slash one nine nine slash two o two two was filed at the High Court of the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, on May 20, 2022, by the head sexual and gender based violence department of public prosecution, 
by the Federation. Ministry of Justice, Mrs. Yewande Dola Awokwetu. Bottom line is that the trial of Peter has not commenced at the moment. He is still in the police custody and has not been sentenced as widely reported. First, there were reports that the corpse of Osinashi had been singing her hit song Equipment in the Mogul. This was, however, shaved when the National Hospital, where her body is deposited, stepped forward to refute the wide report as false. Osinashi, the family said, would be buried in her father's compound at Isoshi Abia State. The family said to be contemplating returning the singer's bride price because of the alleged manner she was treated in matrimony. Peter Onwashuku, for those of you that do not know much about Peter Onwashuku, the husband of late Osinashi, Peter Onwashuku is an evangelist and manager of the late singer Osinashi Onwashuku. It surprised me when I heard the fact that Peter was an evangelist. What I have in store for you today is regarding the fact that they said Peter had been sentenced to death. But according to the report now, they said they have not even commenced trial of Peter Nwashuku. Peter Nwashuku have not been sentenced to death. They have not commenced the trial. It surprised me when I heard the fact that Peter Nwashuku was an evangelist. It really surprised me. Evangelist is a man of God. But this thing keep on coming to me. All I see in this country now is that many of the people that treat their wife in a in an immanent way that treat their wife in the wrong way many of them are men of god they claim to be men of god after leaving the podium behind the scene they beat their wife they beat the woman it's just that the woman will not want to talk because he did not want to spoil their name he did not want to spoil the ministry that they are being building together so many of these people that used to go into this domestic violent month is not even unbeliever. They are believers, not even ordinary believers. They are self-acclaimed men of God. They are self-acclaimed men of God. So my advice for everyone in marriage and if you're undergoing, if you're a man, if you're a woman, if you're undergoing domestic violence, the best thing is if you can't cope with it, just leave the marriage. Don't think that, oh, I don't want things to spoil. I don't want the name of the person beating me to spoil. The person is beating you and you are telling me you don't want his name to spoil. Let, him, let the name of the person spoil before the person kill you. You can see the exact thing that happened to Osinashi. I didn't mean that she left the marriage. She will still be living alive, fine and healthy today. But now she's in the grave. She's no more in the sanctuary. This is a very sad news. This is a very bad thing. If you know that the marriage is not conducive for you, quit it. You people should go apart. The only thing is you did not understand each other. So God will provide someone that you get to understand you and you understand you will be living happily. Don't think that man is the only thing, the only person that you can get married to in life. No, it's not. So the best thing is with the marriage and the Lord will help you. So in a nutshell, Peter Mwashuku have not been sentenced. Even the trial, his trial have not commenced in court. Alright, this is Lajipo speaking. This is Lajipo Watch TV. Go and there to get another trending update for you. Ensure you share this video, like it. And what do you think about this issue? Drop it at the comment section of this video. I'm going and there to get another trending update for you. Guess what? See you in my next video.